Hey everyone, uh, I wanted to build a real-time chat app using Laravel 5.4, which is just getting released next week, and a couple other cool technologies like Laravel Echo and uh, automated testing with Laravel Dusk, which is also a new um, tool. So uh, I just wanted to walk through how I did that and show you some cool things that I learned. So let's get started. Let's start by creating a new app. Let's call it Chat Demo. And I'm going to include that dev flag so that we'll get uh, the latest Laravel 5.4, which, again, isn't released at the time of recording, but so very soon will be. And it's going to spend some time installing some things, pulling the latest development environment. All right. So we'll switch into that. And uh, I'll open it up just so we can observe what's happening here. Okay, so we have a bare-bones Laravel app. The PHP dependencies have in, been installed with Composer, but we also need to install some Node.js dependencies, uh, either with NPM or with Yarn, however you like. Uh, that will help us build out our front end, our, our view components that we're going to build the real-time chat with. Laravel 5.4 comes with Laravel Mix installed. It replaces Laravel Elixir for kind of a build asset pipeline. So that's a little bit different. You will need to run npm install to get that up and running. And then be sure to run npm run dev to compile assets once or watch to build assets. And it's built using Webpack. So that's something new. So the normal Laravel screen is loading. Let's try to load in an example view component just to make sure that our asset pipeline is working and that our scripts are, are being built. Let's start out by defining a route for this file. Uh, we'll use routes web. And, and let's have a chat room at the endpoint chat, just for simplicity's sake. From that, we can return a new view called chat. I think that's simple enough. And let's create that view within our resources views chat.blade.php. And then for now, I'll just stub out a normal HTML file, call it chat room. And let's see if we can load that up. We'll go to a chat room demo or chat demo slash chat, and it should load the chat room. Cool, and it is styled with our bootstrap styles. This has got that special font and everything in it. So everything is good. Let's see if we can't render a demo component. So if you take a look inside your resources folder, inside assets and JS, you'll see a components folder. There's actually an example view component. And this is a really cool little test component that ships with Laravel. And we can actually throw this right in. You'll see that it is mounted uh, with within the app.js file. It's ready to go. And that's pretty awesome. And bootstrap.js takes care of loading in uh, Vue and Axios and jQuery and anything you'd ever need here. So let's try to load this example component in a window. And luckily, it's pretty simple. You'll notice the syntax is just example. And inside our chat room, I will put in an example element. And so when we hit save, uh, we should be able to refresh the page and load up. And it's not working. Of course, I should add a div that surrounds my entire app because it is looking for that inside app.js. Uh, you see element app here. So let's just define a wrapper ID of app. And save, and we should see better results. Cool. You'll see an example component. I'm an example component. This is an excellent time to point out that if you don't already have it, the view Chrome extension is really beneficial. So it'll show you any uh, components that you have, their data properties, and also track events and stuff. So it's kind of neat. I highly recommend it. But we've got an example component running. Uh, I think we are pretty well set up with Laravel. So next lesson, we will start building out the chat app using Vue.